Hello everyone, today we are here to show you why we have an 8.5 and 1.86 in our AC1 range. It's only 0.1 of a difference, so there would be no reason to have them unless we would have made them very different. And that was the whole uh, concept about having the two sails. The 8.6 as you see on the, my right side and the 8.5 on my left side. So our concept was to actually produce an 8.5 which would have the same performance as a 9.2. Why? because we think that uh, a heavier guy would use a 9.2 as, um, as his main biggest sail, while a lighter guy wouldn't need to have an 8, an 8, uh, uh, sorry, 9.2 uh, for light wind, but he could actually just use an 8.5, which would result easier to handle and also lighter in the hands. Um, what is making this difference uh, is mainly how the mast that we, are, we actually used. So on the 8.6, we are using a 4.90 mast, and on the A5, we're using a 460 mast. That's the main difference, and that's what, change, what changes the whole concept of the two sails. So, um, what is an advantage of using a 460 mast? The advantage of using a 460 mast is that it's an IMCS 25, while the 490 mast has an IMCS of 28. Therefore, the IMCS of 490 is uh, higher, meaning that the mast is stiffer. A stiffer mast makes the sail more powerful and also heavier. And uh, 460 mast makes actually, which, which has a 25 MCS, makes the sail being feeling lighter. The mast is softer, so the sail feels lighter just because of the mast. So our concept was to try to make an 8.5 which had enough power with a 460 mast, so that the sail would result to be feeling like lighter and easier to pump, easier to sail from. And uh, this is where we went. So summarizing our idea was that a heavy person, heavy sailor, heavy racer will take his 9.2 as his biggest size while a lighter sailor will take racer will take an 8.5 as his biggest uh, size and we have achieved this so as the guy chased, as a heavy guy so heavy guy we mean let's say from 80 kilos upwards he would take the 9.2 as his biggest size any sailor with 80 kilos uh, under can actually choose to have his 8.5 as his biggest size when the heavy guy is going to be full with wind on his 9.2, uh, he would then switch to an 8.6, the 8.6 which has a 490 mast. While the light guy who is using his 8.5 as, uh, as his biggest sail, he will actually then switch to the 7.8 as his second sail. So it's ideal sail for guys who are using, also girls, the racing, the girls are mainly using 7.8 and 8.6 as their biggest size. Some don't even use the 8.6 because they cannot, they cannot uh, handle the 8.6 with the 4.90 mast because it's feeling too heavy. Then an 8.5 with a 4.60 mast is actually getting light also for the girls to be used in light wind. So uh, when the 8.5 with the 4.60 mast is going to be too big, they can directly switch down to the 7.8 and find that they have enough power. If they, what happens if a heavy guy chooses to go from 9.2 to 8.5 instead of taking the 8.6, which is we recommend. He will actually find out that the 8.5 has almost the same power as the 9.2. So he will feel the overpower situation in, at the same time with 9.2 or 8.5. The 8.5 being a sail designed for people who are sailors who have less than 80 kilos, it's also designed to be fitting better with smaller boards, meaning that uh, if the 8.6 with the 4.90 mast actually feels really good with boards which are 80 cm wide, 85 cm wide, or even wider, the 8.5 using 4.60 mast is feeling lighter on the board and therefore you can actually use it with boards from width of uh, uh, 70 up to of course even 85 wide boards but you can actually take it down to smaller boards meaning that a lighter person can actually use his uh, smaller board with this kind of sail and it will feel actually super light and very easy to use. Um, the 4.60 mast which is used on the 8.5 the main thing which is actually doing is that it's moving the profile a little bit further back so it's not fully in the front like with the 490 the 490 is actually made that the is actually pushing the profile more forward and uh, when you have the profile push more forward it's helping the board to rail more but it's also putting more pressure in the front meaning that it's pushing putting more power uh, in the front making the sail feel kind of heavier it's actually more power but it's, it's, it's actually feeling heavier and therefore it's making a smaller board suffer more while the 460 is moving the profile, profile further back, 
making the sail feel lighter on the board and uh, the smaller board does not, does not suffer as much as when you use it for 90 mast. Then another thing is that for a lighter person, being the IMCS, IMCS of the mast 25, when, it's, when you're pumping it, the mast being softer, it's easier to pump. So when it's easier to pump, the sail feels lighter. When you have to pump the 490 mast, if you don't have the weight and the power, um, of course the 490 mast needs more energy, more power to be bent, and therefore it takes more energy and it feels heavier. It's not a question of weight, physical weight, it's just a question of how the dynamic of the rig is working. So the 460 mast and an 85 will feel very light because of the MCS of the mast and how the profile changes into the sail. So having a uh, little bit less profile in the front, a little bit further back the profile, having the sail a little bit more closed in the leash, this allows the sail to feel light on the board and actually have really great performance in light wind and great speeds. While the 86 having more profile in the front is actually giving more stability in stronger winds, giving more uh, rails the board better in stronger winds. And this is not what you're actually looking for in uh, stronger winds, in the lighter winds uh, when you go racing. So the 86 is made for heavier guys to sail between, let's say, 12, 13 to 18 knots. While day five it's made to sail already in the lightest winds that you can find in a race course. And uh, this is the main difference. So if you plan to jump from the 9.2 to an 8.5, that's not working. Day five is a light wind sail for light people. It's the 9.2 for light people, for people under 80, 80 kilos. So ideal for the girls, ideal for all the guys who are under 80 kilos of weight. Uh, it's a new concept and uh, I think uh, uh, here you see the sail with the 2018 graphic, 18, uh, sorry, 2017 graphics. Um, this is because we were developing the sail during 2017, and we did not want to show the, the new graphics on it. And uh, if you go on the site, you will see the new, the new graphics of the 2018. So this is something new for 2018. We already had a lot of our team members, which are less than 80 kilos. They tried it and they actually realized that they have a big advantage against the 8.6 and against the 9.2 of course. So if you had the doubt why we had an 8.6 and an 8.5 in the range or if you had the doubt on which one you had to buy, I hope now it's clear. So again, 8.5 for the light people under 80 kilos as their biggest sale and the 8.6 is the second sale for the heavy guys, when they can't hold on to the 9-2 anymore, they can just jump on the 8-6. Not on the 8-5. <laughs>